Alright, so in today's video, we are talking about the Hunter Call of the Wild modding. So, let's get into it. You're probably wondering, what is Hunter Call of the Wild modding? And what defines modding Hunter Call of the Wild? So, first, so anything to do with modifying your files to the game is considered modding your sir or uh your game so say if i wanted to spawn a great one but i didn't want to do all the grinding and i go online and then somebody has files on there where they have spawned a great one or modded the great one onto their map and then put the file on mine so if I took that file and put it and replaced my file with it that I already had, that is considered modding the game. So there is one exception that I think anybody would make and that would be taking your old files, so your old population files and resetting them. And you're probably wondering what does that mean? So, what that means is that you are deleting all of your old population files. So, that means taking um, Leighton Lakes and the new map and then New England Mountains or whatever. And then you're deleting those files to your animal pot. And... Pretty much what that does, resetting your animal population files, is when you reopen the game, it spawns in new populations. So, say if you didn't get, you're not getting any more rares or anything like that, and you want to reset your population back to what it was before. So, I would delete my files and then open up the game. So, if you're in Steam or on Steam. You want to make sure you're offline mode, I think. I mean, I don't know how to do it. But you would probably want to go offline mode in Steam. And then you would delete those files. And then turn on your game, or boot up your game. And then after that, you can close it. And then just go from there. But... I think that is the one exception that anybody would make. I mean, even content creators like Rooster and them, I think they would make exception for it because all you're doing is just resetting your animal pop, which means you might be able to get a super rare uh, faster than what you could on your old one. Or you might get a initial spawn of a super rare or a rare or diamonds so i think anybody would make the exception that you can redo that and then but that would probably be the only exception for modding your game but it's not really modding your game so just to say if i wanted to mod my files or something or i didn't want to uh, grind for a great one people can just go and look up probably i mean i don't know but they can probably just go and look up great one white tail and somewhere on the internet is probably a population file that has great ones like it could be tens of thousands if not just one or five or six um but I know there is this one um, modding thing. I think it's called uh, Animal Population Changer. Um, I think that's what it's called. And what that does is I'm pretty sure you can like individually like go in and modify your population files. So that means you could probably... So say I want to spawn in a great one. I could go onto that 
app or whatever, and then go over to Whitetail on Layton Lakes, and then it would, sp- and then it says more great ones or diamonds or whatever, if I had to guess, and it you can put into like one or five or like I said thousands, and you can probably. And then all that does is it just modifies your uh, population files. So, say I want it great one moose or bear or diamond whitetail or mule deer. I would go into that app, do it. I'm saying that I'm not, I, d- I wouldn't because that just takes all the fun out of the game. But... All it does is it just automatically spawns it into your population file or map. So, is modding against the terms and services of the Hunt Call of the Wild? Yes. But, if you are going to mod your, your game... Please, I'm asking in the nicest way possible, if you're going to mod your game, don't go into multiplayer and use your map if you are, because that just takes all the fun out of the game for everybody else. So say if I wanted to make a video and I wanted to play multiplayer, but you just to say, you mod it your game and I haven't realized yet or like you only have like two great ones or three diamonds or whatever and I find one of them and I'm like oh it's not modded then that just takes out the fun for everybody else and plus just it's not cool But, just, if you are going to mod your game, please don't use multiplayer unless you make it a private. Or only friends allowed to join. As long as you do that, then, I mean, go ahead. It's your game. But, just don't go into, just don't make it public so that way other people can join and then ruin the fun for them. But, other than that, I think I pretty much got it all. Uh, If you like this video and it helped you out, please like and subscribe. And comment down below what you would want to see next. Or if you want me to go in more detail of people modding Hunt Call the Wild.